Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. If you don't know what it is that I do here at Magic Orthodoxy is I review. I review magic tricks and I turn it into a show, right? It's a show, it's fun, it's entertaining because at my core, I'm an entertainer and I wanna entertain you and make it fun for you guys as well. And yes, I review stuff that's sent to me for free. I also review stuff that I buy with my own money and I think that is a nice uh, variety, right? We all need variety. We need variety because I realize that maybe the stuff I like and the stuff I buy isn't the kind of magic that you like and you buy. So I wanna make this as well-rounded as possible, make sure we hit all of y'all because we're all different, we all perform differently, and we all like different stuff. That's why I try to do a unbiased, honest review every single time so that you know exactly what you're getting. And if you like that, appreciate that, hit like, hit subscribe, that's all I ask from you. And uh, let's talk about magic books. Did you know I like magic books? I love magic books. In fact, I believe the real secrets to magic are in books and not in some $40 gimmick that's some one hit wonder that's here today and gone tomorrow. If you are serious about this art form, serious about your craft and serious about improving, I would highly recommend that you start building a magic library. You need magic books on your shelf that you can go back to for reference. And when magic books like this come out, today we're gonna look at the Imagination Project Volume 2. Uh, when books like this come out, you really wanna kinda dial in because here's a magician who has made a life, you know, made a career out of performing magic, and they have chosen to now kind of pull the curtain back and show you the behind the scenes of their craft, especially if you're a fan of said artist, you should definitely consider purchasing their books so that you can glean from them the valuable information that they share. Now, you might remember uh, I did a review for the Imagination Project Volume 1 as well. You should definitely go back and check that out. And I'll also be doing a review for Volume 3, and we'll talk about all three volumes at the end of this video. But I want to talk about Michael O'Brien. I want to talk about Michael O'Brien because uh, he's a buddy of mine. He's a buddy. Uh, he and I talk, and uh, we share some things in common. I don't even know if Michael O'Brien knows this, but uh, we actually share a lot of things in common. I mean, number one, we're both Irish, right? He and I are both Irish. Uh, we're both magicians right? We're both magicians. Third, we've both worked at Disneyland. That's true. We've both worked at the Magic Kingdom. And uh, we both like Pokemon. <laughs> we both like Pokemon. We both collect the cards and play the game. So that's another interesting thing about both of us. And uh, like I showed you in his first book, he actually has some Pokemon card magic related tricks that you can purchase. I would go check out O'BrienMagic.com for all of his catalog. But we're here to look at the Imagination Project Volume 2, and I want to tell you all about it. Like I said, you can find it at O'BrienMagic.com. It's 117 pages, 117 pages, and retails for $35. In this book, you're going to learn over 40 effects and ideas that are designed to take your magic to the next level. And not only are you going to learn some new material, maybe add it to some of your existing stuff, but you'll also get uh, Michael O'Brien's sense of wonder. You'll catch his contagious excitement, and I think your spectators will leave from your performances with uh, just an experience that they'll never forget. Going through the table of contents, uh, right away you're gonna notice there's a lot of card tricks. A lot of card tricks. Four card tricks, uh, one with a sonic screwdriver. If you don't know, that's from Doctor Who. Uh, he's got a blank deck trick in there. He's got a triumph effect. He's got a card to mouth. He's got a really cool ambitious idea in there. Uh, there's four improved tricks from uh, volume one and from his earlier DVD release. And then he's got four self-working card tricks. There's a sandwich trick in there and a do as I do. He's gonna walk you through four tricks with a pocket switch and then four tricks with a deck holdout and he'll even show you how to make your own deck holdout at home. Coin magic, you like coin magic? He's got three more tricks. He's got some walking liberty effects and some really fun Star Wars themed effects. If you like the invisible purse, that's the little empty purse clasp, 10 tricks with the invisible purse, some inspired by Eugene Berger. Uh, he's got a trick with a billiard ball, a Sharpie marker, and of course, 
What would any Michael O'Brien book be without some attention to the close-up linking rings? This is where Michael O'Brien shines, and uh, it's the trick we saw him do on Penn and Teller Foolis. There's one trick with a bar blade, and after you see it, you'll want one. He's got some work inspired by Daryl, and he's got a short version of his ninja rings. Then he's gonna close with three mentalism effects. One is a nod to Bob Cassidy, and then he has some crediting. What are the positives to this book? Uh, there's something for everyone, really right? There's something for everyone. You like coins, you like cards, you like invisible purse, you like linking rings. I mean, talk about close-up and parlor, right? All mixed together, which is really Michael's style. The book is very, very, very creative. You're going to see that on every page, even though, you know, he credits and he, and he says, this is who inspired me here. This is where I got this idea. It's, it's borrowing, but it's borrowing and adding to. And I think that's really what sets a lot of magicians apart. Uh, if, If you're just doing the trick, you know, just like it was taught straight out of the book and you're using the exact same script and the same, you know, the same pattern, uh, you know, that'll only get you so far. When you watch somebody take magic and then add to it and then put their own persona and their own twist to it, I think that's really when the creative juices start flowing, right? And to watch Michael do it, I think he kind of takes you by the hand and shows you, hey, this is how much freedom you have when you when you craft a trick and then you see just how creative his mind works. Plus the book is jam packed, right? That's a lot of tricks inside of 117 pages. It's a ton of effects, like almost 40, right? Oh no, over 40, over 40 effects for $35. That's less than a dollar a trick, right? So Michael O'Brien's been on Penn and Teller Foolis. He's been on TV. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's very prolific. He sold a ton of stuff. You definitely going to want to check him out. The book is also easy to read. You know, some uh, magic tricks, they read like stereo instructions and you're like, what do I do? And it's hard to, to read it and, and not see it. I don't think you get that from, from this book. Um, and there's plenty of full color pictures, right? Full color, not black and white, nice, beautiful, large pictures, very easy to see, very easy to follow and understand. And I would just remind you that Michael O'Brien has three books. He has The Imagination Project, uh, Volume 1. He has The Imagination Project, Volume 2. And of course, volume three, all of them are available at obrienmagic.com. And all three of them have been reviewed on my channel. Make sure you go watch those. Uh, Go to his YouTube channel as well. Make sure you like and subscribe to his YouTube channel. That's definitely going to be a great place where you'll be able to see uh, his style and see how he uh, performs. Plus, I would go check him out on uh, Penn & Teller Fool Us. Like I said, he did an amazing Uh, linking rings trick there as well. Make sure you give that video a bunch of likes. All right, that's everything I can say about the Imagination Project Volume 2. I want to thank Michael O'Brien and everyone down at obrienmagic.com for allowing me to have this book so that I can do the review for you. And if you want to purchase it for yourself, I would head on down to obrienmagic.com. I'll put a link below in the description. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. But wait, do you want to learn more about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Of course you do. That's from my Teespring store. If you scroll down into the description area, you can click any one of those t-shirt graphics. It'll take you out to Teespring and show you my magic orthodoxy apparel. That's right. I've got several different styles and colors and price points to choose from, including my King of Clubs Black Roses exclusive Daniel Schneider tee. If you appreciate what I do, that is a great way to support this channel. Thanks.